what's going on in here? None, None of, of your, your business, business nosy. nosy. Let's get the fuck out of here, Smurf. <laughs> uh, I actually laughed at Nosy like once or two, once or two times. I man. like Nosy, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, I fucked with that. Let's get into this Smurf shit, man. <laughs> because here, here's the deal with the Smurfs, man. Uh, Smurfs mean a lot to me. I know that's crazy because it's, you got to understand, I was part of that generation growing up. I was probably like the next to the last one before Saturday morning cartoons were out the picture. Yeah, yeah, before Saved by the Bell came and swept them all away. Oh, when they started, like, the live action, the yeah. flesh and blood started, like, easing the cartoons <laughs> uh-huh. out. And to see, the, here's the deal with Smurfs, man. Like, every Saturday, man, when people found out that was, Smurfs was so big back in the 80s, early 80s, that when they found out there was a Smurf cartoon coming out, kids woke up just to see those little blue assholes, man. They... It, I, everybody wake up to watch the Smurfs cartoon. That ran for, I don't know, like about 20 seasons or something. That rabbit's eyes was red as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, you know what you do while watching this show? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Let me see that rabbit again. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that rabbit been smoking that bush right there. Yeah. Hey, how we good one? Yeah. How you doing, rabbit? Yeah, yeah. were you with him behind that tree? <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we used to watch these Smurfs on High Ass Animals on Saturday morning. <laughs> the way his eyes are falling that butterfly. Oh, those colors. Huh. <laughs> wow, man. That's beautiful as shit. <laughs> but, that's Smurfalicious, man. But we used to watch this on Saturday mornings. And this ran for several seasons, man. This ran for like, or I don't know, around like nine seasons or something. But the Smurfs, the Smurfs, they were a staple of Saturday. They had the kids used to wake up. They had the Smurf doll. They had the Smurf figurines on the shelf. They had the Smurf ColecoVision game still plugged in. They stopped playing to see the actual Smurfs on TV. And they were eating the Smurf Berry Crunch, man. I had no idea all this was going on. That, you, yeah, you were, look, you were older at this time, yeah. man. You you passed that Smurf shit. But for, for, and here's the deal. Like, there were a, a lot of cartoons. They came and went. And there were a lot of cool cartoons out there that could hang. But the Smurfs were always a staple, man. <laughs> you, you see Mr. T? Mr. T. <laughs> Goddamn Smurfs. <laughs> get the fuck on me. <laughs> oh, you cool. It looked like, get him. It looked like Mr. T is hallucinating right now. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck y'all put my shit for? <laughs> Talking chipmunks and spider people. <laughs> and spider man's under my skin. <laughs> I, I pity the fool that slipped some shit in my tea. You know, right? And it's funny because they had a Mr. T cartoon back then. And, and Mr. T, I, I, like, they had, they, they look, the cartoons were, were cool. They weren't really big on the taglines, though. They didn't know what they were talking about. Like, Mr. T right there, look at that. NBC Saturday morning, we got the jazz. What does that mean? That don't mean, ain't, ain't a fucking saxophone in that picture. Ain't, ain't nothing that has to do with jazz in there. You know you know what happened. He thought of that, and people just scared to tell him that it was stupid, you know? Right. Shut up, fool. It's clever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the cartoons, you know, you but. You gonna tell him? He told me to shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's the boss. It's his cartoon. But, yeah, people, Smurfs were it, man. And people, and didn't they, been, didn't was, they come on at like 6.30 in the morning? No, they, I remember, man. Central time, they came on around 8. Oh. Yeah, no, I was there. I had a front row seat to watch these Smurfs <laughs> on Saturday. I loved them too, man. Smurfs was just something that was like a cultural phenomenon at the time. So a lot of people have been waiting for the Smurfs movie that was going to be, of course, at some point, rebooted, renewed for American audiences. And... I was wondering, I was like, hey, fun memories, man, nostalgia. Y'all had Power Rangers, I had Smurfs, <laughs> you know, so. Uh, oh, the, that sounds so sad. <laughs> at the time, you just don't know it was strong, man. That's some, them Smurfs had them streets, man. <laughs> but here's the deal. 2011, they came out with the Smurfs, the live-action CG hybrid. And a lot of people were excited, especially with some of the talent they had in there. Was it Patrick? Uh, Neil, Patrick pa- Neil Patrick Harris. And and the whole thing was that people said, finally, I get to see the Smurfs and how it looks in, in the 3D natural world. Oh, my Smurf. And that we was look what, like shit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> awful, man. Oh, that was that was 
it was awful, man, because that was the big disappointment with people. Everybody wanted to see the Smurf village. Everybody wanted to see how the Smurfs would interact with each other. And then they chose to just cheap out, pay for a shitty script, and have them do that fish out of water story by going to New York. Oh, look, a transport device. Come on. This way. All together now. Ah, ah my hip. You know, oh, they be dead. Been the the movie right they there. be dead, man. <laughs> and be blue juice all over that door right there. And you guys hit it, man. That was another disappointment. Like, they tried to make it. They tried to make it too real. Like these Smurfs, it, it was creepy, yeah. man. You remember it? Like, like, like they look like little dead frozen people. <laughs> they, you know? they, they look like Play-Doh. Yeah, it was, mm. it was, it was just a bad design. Like uh, something out of robot chicken. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what? It does, man. It was just bad design. Trying to like make their eyes realistic and have them uh, interact with real backgrounds. And it was, you know, people said... <sighs> This was prime for CG right here. Why didn't you just do it right? Keep their asses out of New York and just, ha- and just have it take place in the Smurf village. And once people heard that this was coming out, that new Smurf shit, you know, Smurf, the Lost Village, the reboot for 2017. <laughs> Christopher Nolan. <laughs> <Yeah. Smurfs. laughs> <laughs> <Bwah. laughs> the little mushroom houses being blown away. Turning <laughs> 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 in on itself. <laughs> 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 but but uh, when that happened, people were excited because they said, you know what? This is not the Smurfs that we want. This is the Smurfs that we need right here. <laughs> the Smurfs who, we deserve. The who Smurfs, are these people? Why the is there nothing going on in their life? <laughs> Man, you know what? That's the crazy thing about it. There's, today, there are so many nostalgic uh, Smurf fans that I'm not one of them. I don't give a fuck about Smurfs. But, you know, <laughs> the people are like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah come like, on. Did you just spend 10 minutes telling us what the Smurf fan you are? They, you know, he was part of you my childhood. You remember what time it came on for, what, 30 years ago? <laughs> part of my childhood, man. I've, I've okay. moved on now. I cannot tell you what time Power Rangers <laughs> came on. I'm, I'm, I'm into snorks now. The knockoff the water knockoff. Smurfs. I know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Smurfs, but they're underwater. Yeah. Huh? And they huh? got dicks on their heads. They help them breathe. <laughs> But but with this here, this is what everybody had been waiting on because finally this takes place in the Smurf village. And not only do we have that Smurf village, but there's another Smurf village out there that's lost. And they have to find a whole CG Smurf world. It's almost people said they they heard our complaints and they listened and they did it. And the cool thing with this is that you have uh you have Smurfette in this. And the, and the thing with Smurfette is that Smurfette, and, and here she is, a little fine ass, Smurfette, she was always, for the Smurfs, I mean, she was an afterthought. She was kind of a, a character for all the Smurfs just to kind of ogle. She was like a sex object for yeah. them, you know. She's a token character. She's a token character, you know. They, every now and then they take her behind one of the mushroom houses have some well, fun yeah, with that her. Was, that was the whole thing, like all these male Smurfs and the one girl... Even you try as much as you as you can, you cannot think of gangbang. No, that, and that's and that is the, no. You know you that the my Smurfette. That's what she was. It was like all these Smurfs had their turn with her, and it was funny because you know because all of them were taking her somewhere. Maybe two of them, and then it's funny because when Baby Smurf came no, along, you in this? Don't yeah, you, <laughs> you know when Baby Smurf came along, it was sad because no, he didn't know who his daddy was. Oh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was really sad, you know. Smurfette was just there was no Maury Smurf. Uh, no, no. <laughs> hey, you hefty, I'm not the sm- I'm not the fuck, I'm not the Smurf. <laughs> yeah. yeah fuck you, bro. Yeah. She gonna run in behind the stack. No. Yeah, fuck you, clumsy. Your dick fell and slipped in the hurry. Yeah. But isn't your name Papa Smurf? Fuck that. Yeah. Not, not today, it's not. A blood Smurf. Yeah, man. You know, every everybody had that term. Was a Smurf. Smurf that was a hoe. You know, let's just get right down oh, to it. God, you were Probably a not by twisted choice, child. Right? I mean, that, I'm just, my point is, she didn't serve anything but to be a sex object for this other Smurfs out there, whether we want to see it or not. They were ogling her. And that's why it's kind of cool that with this Smurfette that we have here, I will praise the movie off the bat for saying this Smurfette is actually given a lot more to do. This story, it revolves around her. This is something where she finally takes power. In fact, she's more of a leader than the rest of these punk-ass Smurfs in here. And the reason why she has to take charge is, is because she's like, 
none of y'all, none of y'all can tell me where I came from. None of y'all can tell me what I'm about. And on top of that, some people come by and even say, bitch, you ain't even a real Smurf. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> made a clay. You made a clay. Like well, a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> Like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> like, oh, sure. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, and you got Papa Smurf saying, I don't know where you came from, but I know where you ain't going. And that's over that wall. <laughs> Nobody gets to go over there. Yeah. You, you, you don't need to know. You don't want to know what's over there. But she's saying, you know what? All right. Ain't nobody going to tell me. I'm going to find out on my own. And that's what happens. She takes charge and she goes out to find out, you know, am I, am I a real bona fide Smurf? You know, am I Smurf enough to be here? You know, she's she's really she is really the the some people say the the emotional center of the movie. And a lot of parents are appreciating that. All right, that's really cool that my little girl gets to see something like that. Uh that's about the best shit I can say about this movie right here. Yeah. I, well, well, go ahead. I was going to say, and even then, that's a missed opportunity, I think, because I agree with you when they first introduced that premise, because you've got like Brainy Smurf, he's the smart <laughs> one, Hefty Smurf is the strong one, Clumsy Smurf, he's the fuck up. They each have an adjective to describe <laughs> yeah, what yeah. they're about. Yeah. Smurfette, like their whole thing at the start is, what's her shtick? What's her deal? What's an She's et? got a vagina. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so yeah. when the movie starts, at least I was thinking, it's like, oh, okay, if they take this as an opportunity to define this character beyond her gender, mm-hmm. that'd be really cool if they actually did that. But she does not change or develop at all over the course of this movie. None of them do. You're still talking about Smurfs, right? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's minimal, but it's there. You know, (laughs) little is there, and it's all around Smurfette. Because here's the here's the thing. They the 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 movie kind of has a promising start because what you want to see is all these personalities of Smurfs interact with each other, and that's what they do. They 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 start out telling you. We got this Smurf, this Smurf, this Smurf, that Smurf. Party parties for enemies. And there's one thing they have in common. 100. They're all dudes. Now, the movie after that point says, okay, you know all these Smurfs you just met? Fuck them. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like, we going to, we take his, his four. That's all you yeah, need. Yeah, yeah. Worry about all, them. All these Smurfs, that, that's too much Smurfiness right now. We can't handle all that. And I don't think y'all can either. <laughs> we got, we, we got three Smurfs. That y'all are gonna deal with. That's gonna be, and as you said, Brandy, clumsy, hefty, and then you also have in the mix, you have Smurfette. And I, you know what? The probably the only Smurf that does have some uh, so, some extra characterization, an extra layer, is uh, Hefty. Because Hefty wanted to fuck Smurfette so bad. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> changed his name to Thirsty Smurf. Yes. <laughs> Thirsty Smurf, man. Because he was in, his, in the voice. Uh, who, who did the voice? Joe Magnell. Joe Magnell. Mag- how do you say his name? How you say it? I think it's Magnia. Mag- Magnianello? I like the way we all said at the same time, hoping that the other person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Joe, Joe Magnum, oh, Joe, Joe Mags, right? Joey Mags, <laughs> Joe Magnum Trojans. You know? <laughs> but wow, well, he's looking at that Hefty like I'm gonna fuck that Smurf. <laughs> but but he's. Uh, Did they have to get a muscular guy to do the voice? <laughs> what does that matter? A typecasting man. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's Hefty, they got a muscular dude, and it's funny because they got his muscular ass in the whole movie. Like, hey everybody, how you doing? <laughs> so, he ain't but, doing but, shit now. He ain't gonna be Deathstroke. So yeah. why not make a Smurf? Movie? Why not? You, you got the right muscles in your vocal cords. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you just sound swole. <laughs> and Hefty wanted to fuck Smurfette. So every time Smurfette was around, he pushing Brandon Clumsy. Hey, I got, I got you. I got you. What you need, girl? You know, I, can't, like, I can't leave her. We got to save her. Yeah. Hey, man, you thirsty. You about to get us killed for this chick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can fuck some clay. Yeah. <laughs> even even Brainy, who's always the one that's being pushed around, like, damn, bro, slow your ass down, man. <laughs> she, she, she ain't having sex with you. <laughs> she was always showing out front. Oh, no. Hey, hey. Like when, when Smurfette come around, he's doing push up. Oh, hey, hey, Smurfette, how you doing? You need something? Yeah, I need you to get your ass up and let's go. <laughs> Fucking around. But this, uh, that's <laughs> thirsty Smurf. <laughs> Tongue hanging out. Hey, hey, brother, how you doing? But, uh, <laughs> but here, here's the thing. Seriously, no joking around. The problem with the uh, the problem with this the these Smurfs having all these different personalities and then bringing it down to just uh, four of them going on this journey is that again it's sort of a cop out on story. It's like. A lot of people want to see how these how these different personalities will interact. You know, they want to see you know these Smurfs, all these different. If you're going to show them, show them how they work as a team towards a common goal. I mean, even if you can, even if they only have to like little small appearances and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because the only thing 
that these Smurfs, the only thing that they have in common, the only way that they work together as a team is if they're loud. And that's one of my problems with this movie. It is just the biggest personality trait of these Smurfs is to just scream their goddamn asses off in every scene. Shut your goddamn ass. Like, you know, that's, those are the clips that they gave me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, every <laughs> clip they had no, that's the show had a little story they got in there. Like, they find this village in between that. They're just screaming. And every scene that they gave me was, was just them riding water, going down, you know, crashing down a tree, falling off a cliff, screaming. Mm -hmm. And, that, you know, and, that's, that, and for anybody who knows me with, uh, with children's movies and animated films, that's one thing that really bothers me. If, you, if your characters are just obnoxious for no reason other than kids like loud things. I don't. I, no. I, well, I, I agree question. with you, but I feel like that all applied to Boss Baby. You were all over that. No. And Scrat, who you said your favorite character from Ice Age is. Uh, you know what? Scrat, I'll let slide. You know, because <laughs> it's funny seeing it. You don't often see an animal on crack in a kid in a kid's cartoon, you know. <laughs> okay. Like, Boss baby, nah, don't see it there. We just gonna have to be disagreed on that, Martin. But but I mean with this, I think we not, can all disagree that this was just this is something where the character development wasn't there because they just want to appeal to the basics of uh, of what kids like. Nah, um, I don't necessarily agree with that. Mm. Okay, well, fuck off then. What about Damn. you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm ki I like the way I like the way she looked like. Whoa, hey, we, we do this all the time. This is, yeah, this this is, is normal. This is she, we're like, used to the abuse. <laughs> she's like, oh shit! It's some hands. She was ducking two hands about. To blow. We've got calluses. We all right. <laughs> no, no, no we we joke like this all the time. Martin, like this ain't no joke. I'm about to slap the shit out of you. Hey, no, well, that's interesting, Martin, because this is, you know I thought, and not because I want you to agree with me, but I thought maybe because of you know you 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 really have these feelings towards some of these uh, children's properties. I thought maybe you would have felt the same way, but it sounds like you don't. Not, yeah, not. I, I guess I don't. Uh, while I don't think this is a, a good movie, I found myself not hating it and on, on some level going like, well, okay. Uh, and granted, so much of it is because Smurfs 2 was my Vietnam. <laughs> oh, that was horrible, man. That was a horrible movie. You, man, you came out one, not wanting to admit how horrible that movie was. But I did. <laughs> <laughs> Two years later. <laughs> that was just one where, like, it, me just seeing anybody blue just gave me the shakes. I, I, and see, this, this was the last thing I wanted to go see, especially to wake up on a Saturday morning to go see it. And watching it, I'm like, you know what? Within its own universe, it plays by its, uh, its own rules. Uh, there's something fundamental about the Smurfs that I don't like that's early in the movie that mm -hmm. they establish. And it's just, a, it's just a thing with the Smurfs. Uh, at, their, at their core, they're all a bunch of labelers and name callers. Like, like, what if, <laughs> like that thing you do, they, they're quick to go like, hey man, okay, nosy. That's you, that's you. From, from now on. <laughs> it's like, man, I just had some binoculars out one time. Nope, sorry. You nosy. You got you to gotta play to that role. Whatever oh, yeah. they assign you, that's, that's, that's what you got to do for the rest of your life. Hey, like, piss behind a bush, Smurf. Man, I'm just, <laughs> I just can't even piss one time. Yeah, it was, it was, it, the restroom was full and I had to go. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. I mean, it's like high school or something where, where somebody sees you do something and that's your nickname and that sticks with you for the rest of your Smurfing life. Yeah. Mm. Wipe your ass, Smurf. Come here. <laughs> so that's some bullshit. Um, but th there was this whole, that whole aspect of Papa Smurf not letting them go out into... The Forbidden Zone, like he was Dr. Zayas or something. Excuse me, the Forbidden Forest. I, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's Forbidden Zone and Planet of the Apes, but I'm just making that correlation. I'm like, all right, there's, there's something about that. Like, you, you, like the, to me, the character development was with Papa Smurf because he was so controlling to everybody until he got out there and saw that there were female Smurfs and one that he could possibly hook up with. He kind of had to learn a lesson himself. That, that's why they rebelling and screaming and shit because Papa Smurf would never, you know, he, he always did this thing of don't do this and don't do that, yeah. but never told them why. Now exactly. You're talking about maps and mystery Smurfs. What's going on in here? None, None of, of your, your business, business, Nosy. That's get the fuck out of here, Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, laughed at Nosy like once or, two, once or two times. I man. like Nosy, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I fucked with that. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, they're like, 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 uh, nosy is that Felix? You know? it's like, yeah, he is. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You he, Papa hates when he comes around. Yeah. It's like, God damn it. Who left the window open? <laughs> but and, and I, I don't blow off what they did with Smurfette. I mean, they could have just made her. They, they're so. I mean, 
you guys said they could have done more, but when I look at what they've done in the past, this is so much more. And they actually gave her a genuine existential crisis and, and a reason for this movie to, to move and do something. Well, I no, I, that's what I said. I was in agreement on that. At first, I thought you were jumping on my ass about it because I was like, man, she's real in development. Like, you stupid motherfuckers, what development she got? <laughs> I thought y'all were saying there was no character yeah, development for in the this. other Smurfs. Oh, I, oh okay. I, no, I, no, I don't think there was. No, no, but, but, the, but the, also the, the idea that they only took three other Smurfs or, you know, four if you count Papa along with them. I think about how many times we complain when there's too many going on and it's too much. I'm like, you know what? It works better to just focus it there. Like, we see all the other Smurfs from the beginning. You got it. You know this. Other Smurfs with different personality traits. But hey, we're focusing on, on these right here who can go on this journey and we can follow them and have an idea of their personality traits. And I can't believe... Like, you're making me yeah, defend you're getting, a movie. You're getting that I deep really, on this Smurf know, shit right as, here, as, man. As you were putting it down, I was like, well, actually, all this stuff was there because I didn't dislike the movie. I don't want to see it again. It's not like I, I really recommend it. At the, at, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? It wasn't painful. And for the audience it's for, which is young kids, I feel like it works. Well, you dug deep with this Smurf stuff right here. It's, got in the Smurf, it's, Smurf it's, philosophy one-on-one. That's why on he one. got that blue microphone. Because <laughs> 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 he's sucking that Smurf dick right oh, now. Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Don't you ever talk about me and Smurfs again. I, like, I feel like you've been converted or something. <laughs> You no, know? I hate that cartoon. Mm. Well, it don't sound like it now. Sound like it. They just need to put it in 3G or, 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 or 3G or 3, <laughs> 3D, it's, whatever it's, you understand. It's one singular story that, that actually, you know, it started somewhere and it was driving towards something. Okay, well. I mean, there's plenty of inconsistencies in it. Don't get me wrong, because the, the whole thing with Gargamel and his freeze pellets, I'm like, all right, so they worked this way one time and they worked this other way another time. That's, that's some bullshit. Okay, right okay, there. now you're getting too deep. I mean, come on now. That's just a cartoon. You can't be looking at the physics of the fr frozen Excuse pellets me? and shit. <laughs> You all can't, the shit you just said. You, you can't do that. You can now. You, I mean, you know Smurf philosophy and physics. You know better than okay. you know. You deep now. You deep. You know, I like the way Corey looking. Both y'all full of shit. <laughs> I'm seeing y'all go at it as Smurf, so I'm just like, all right, whatever. Um, I love the one of the reasons why I love the Smurfs is because I love the artwork. It was what is it, Payo? Pa yeah, Payo. Yeah, Payo. I love the I love the artwork, and they were comics, and they were actually movies before they got over here. And uh, if you watch the if you watch the movie and anybody who's seen the artwork, they actually try to stay close to it. And you notice that they really are using the comics as an inspiration. Like in the, in the movie, when Gargamel would hit something and hurt himself, you would see stars fly off. Yeah. And, they, and that's, uh, that's something that they would do in the comics, where like hearts would fly off of them and stars and all kind of comic bookish type stuff. And I thought, that is really clever that y'all are staying that close to the source material. And overall, I just think that it's just a beautiful looking film because of the color palettes that they use, the designs. Everything fits together as part of, you know, this, uh, I don't, shit, I don't, damn, now I sound like you, Martin. That's part of, exactly. That's, what, that's the point when you're praising and you, and you stop and go like, wait, what am I doing? It's part of, but as an artist, as part of this whole Smurf design that they've done for the world, they've done a great job at it, I, I think. It's not something I want to go in and hate. I mean, it didn't help. Maybe I was in a foul mood because they really, I don't know what time y'all got in, but it didn't help that the, that the marketing company tried to make us hate the movie before the movie even started. We walked in there and they had that Megan Trainor song. I'm a lady. Hey. Hey. Yes, I'm a lady. They had that shit on a loop yeah. for about 10 minutes when we walked oh, in there. Oh, I tuned it out. Oh, yeah, I did not. And we watched it five minutes before the movie started. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another thing. I really want to, oh, man, I want to, I know what you're about to mention. <laughs> get, get me on this, man. Get yeah, my, I, yeah. Every time I want to come in here and praise this movie and I said, oh, that's not so bad, then they would do something that they didn't need to do. Again, crowbar and shit in there for no reason at all other than they say blue in the song. They're playing that, what was it, that Eiffel? Yeah, the song Eiffel. Eiffel 6. I, yeah, they, they played that, 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 that blue song that's famous in gay clubs, that Eiffel 6, whatever, I'm blue. I'm blue. They played that it just came out of nowhere and just because they needed to something to play that related to the Smurfs and I was just like damn have y'all no shame at yeah. all I yeah, yeah. my ass well, yeah, you can, I, I was just I was sitting up there like man I had no connection to that song I didn't even know they were saying I'm blue guess what so. this movie doesn't either <laughs> besides just fucking think, saying blue th that might be like the most embarrassed I've ever been to be in a movie theater when they started playing that now, song I couldn't tell because you motherfuckers back there giggling the whole movie oh <laughs> yeah, we were making <laughs> yeah, we were making <laughs> Like really? Okay. Well, yeah. Y'all thought we couldn't hear you? Yeah, y'all were loud. I didn't. Hell. I didn't think you could hear us over Martin's munching down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh shit! Now he's pulling out the cards. Yeah, Martin. Okay. Yeah, you, you eat popcorn really loud, man. It's scary. <laughs>
I'm not. I'll own up to our sniggling and teenage <laughs> girl shenanigans because we, we do that in every movie. We sit okay. next to each other. Sorry, I, I, I won't eat popcorn in a movie theater ever. <laughs> he, would, he would actually love it. <laughs> Martin, man, yo, yo, eating brothers on a whole nother level. It is, it is vile. It is, it's rough, man. It's really hey, man, loud. It's enjoying No, myself. I know you were because you was eating loud as fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I, I'm not trying to God. jump on no intervention, but we, we, we got to teach you how to chew with your mouth closed with that popcorn, I'm sitting man. between <laughs> you eating and these two motherfuckers giggling and cracking jokes. I'm like, I should hate this movie, so when I get an action scene that's loud, I'm like, oh, thank God. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just sitting there. I hate everybody here. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> I, to your credit, you are hands down the best of all of us when it comes to watching these movies. You yeah. sit down and shut up. Man, I, I, yeah, we, we can't sit next to each other. Cursing. We, 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 we can't. No. We're, I'll own up to that. We giggle and talk because I had to to get through this. I hated this movie, man. Yeah, I, It was man. driving me nuts how yeah, bad this the, movie was making It was me. the way they tried to put, besides forcing the, the you know, this, this, this blue song all, all the smurfs were doing with just walking they just walked and they start playing this you know they also when they had time they would they would force in the movie is a seven minute long episode of the smurfs they stretched out to put a soundtrack in there to sell and i want to like this because there is a lot to like in this but for the things that they do that i consider just straight up studio laziness just to market something just to make way for the next film and a franchise they hope to start this made it hard for me man i ain't gonna lie this made it very hard for me uh I, you know i know we're about to wrap up but you, know, you guys go ahead please i'm i'm leaving myself for last for a reason for, for completely for a reason but go ahead okay um one thing about this movie was i i was walking in here expecting a piece of shit literally um just just some shit pop up on the screen and be like all right we're done but the thing about this 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 film man it actually brought me into the Smurf world, like we said earlier, the animation is amazing, and there there were legit scenes in here. I was like, wow, you guys actually took time to to develop a world. Yeah, so mm -hmm. with me, man, I think this is a rental. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's not, okay. not a bad movie at all. Oh yeah, I didn't give my rating, but for young kids, the, the audience it's made for, yeah, it's a rental. Okay, and uh, the Great Gertz. Uh, well, he you, says, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Like, you, I, I found nothing to like here at all. I hated this fucking movie. It, <laughs> it's an hour and a half long movie that felt like three hours. Wow. And the only thing that got me through it, sorry, we're assholes in the theater, was us giggling and making each other laugh watching <laughs> this movie. I, I think this is my least favorite movie I've seen this year so far. I give it a fuck you. I have seen no reason Damn, to see this fuck shit. a Smurf. <laughs> I fucking hate this I think movie. that's one of the Smurfs. Fuck a Smurf. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Smurf. Come here. <laughs> Gertz gave him that name. Uh, the reason why I saved myself for last, because I actually thought I was going to be a little different from some of you guys, and I in a way I am. Because when I look at this, and you know, I, as much as we were joking around, believe it or not, there are some, I hate, I hate to use this word, but there are some Smurf purists and fans out there who are riding off the, riding off the nostalgia. And I already hear some people who saw screenings of this who were really into Smurfs. And they're, they're loving what they see. They say, this is kind of what I really wanted. But those people, I mean, if you're really that nostalgic with Smurfs, you're <laughs> mentally ill, then you go ahead. <laughs> and uh, I think it's a matinee for you. Now, here's the thing that y'all might... I, I love it, boy. This is what I love about this job right here. I love the way we just give each other shit and argue with each other, and then we just kind of end up on the same. You know? <laughs> like, like, man, you go to hell. You go to hell. We leave each other. We walk around, and we come right back to the same spot. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing here? But, yeah, man. The, you, I think you confuse my criticisms with vitriol. I had no vitriol for this. I just gave No, that was him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no, that, that was him. That, that, that definitely was you. That was some poison that you were spitting from your mouth. You yeah. were like, Rick, you just... Like, this movie's just bullshit, Corey. <laughs> bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking Smurfs. <laughs> Fucking bullshit, Corey. But I... I do think that it's a movie that could have been stronger. I would love to give this more because I love the look of it. But as Martin said, and I couldn't agree with you more, you know, for, for kids who will go see this, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't like it. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't have fun. These Smurfs are just as loud and obnoxious as they are. So, you know, for little kids out there who love frantic action and, granted, beautiful visuals, I think that's, that it's a, it's a rental. For all you parents who your kids are screaming like these Smurfs and begging you to, <laughs> begging you to go take them to see them, uh, you know, I, 
take them off the grid for about two weeks or so, you know, <laughs> hide them in a closet or something and, you know, and make sure that they don't know it's at the theater and rent the movie for them. Because it's perfect for that. Perfect for that. I, I, li- I didn't, didn't hate it. I liked it. I just thought, you know, it's that kind of rental where I say, this could have been better. Could have been so much better. But sure. they don't care about the adults here. They are strictly making this for kids. And sometimes the kids just need to have their shit. <laughs> you know, just let them take yeah. it. I, you know, if there's anything, um, if I, I, for the sequel, I would like to see more. I want to see more Smurfs out there that didn't get to shine in this one. Mm-hmm. I'm with the old Nosy man. Yeah, that was the one part of the movie that did make me laugh. Was oh yeah, his two scenes with Nosy Smurf. Oh yes, Nosy Smurf had me laughing, man. What's going on in here? None, None of, of your, your business, business Nosy. Nosy. Well. All right. You know, because he's, <laughs> you know, he's Kirby Smurf. Because he walk yeah. like, like yes, I'll watch you while you're sleeping, son. <laughs> you know, he's up on up in trees watching Smurfs on the toilet. <laughs> I want to see I want to see his story right there. Chuck Berry Smurf. Chuck, this Ch- Chuck Smurf. <laughs> you smell like Smurf Berry shit. Get off me, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't kiss you. Gamefly brings to your house, to you, over 8,000 new releases and classics that are available to rent or you can buy them for almost every system out there, current and some old systems. Like I said, man, I've been trying to put my GameCube back to work for years. Gamefly is giving me an excuse to do that. And you could even try 30 days for free by typing in gameflyoffer.com forward slash double toasted. And when you do that, you, you'll get 30 days for free of games and movies. Get all those things, all of them at once. Just stay in the house. Don't go nowhere because they're all going to get brought right to your mailbox. You can also bring the element of surprise every month to your home in the form of a Loot Crate mystery box. In that box, I can't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee you it is the best in geek and gaming gear. Some people say it's like having Comic-Con brought right to your home. You don't have to leave the house for nothing. You're getting all kind of stuff. And everybody likes a little surprise every month. Just a little bit. And here's another surprise for you. You know, if you go to our link, trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted, and you type in bridge. 10, that's the word bridge in the l- number 10. You can get 10% off, a, di- a 10% discount on your first crate. How's that for a surprise right there? Loot Crate, bring the mystery and the surprise to your mailbox once a month with Loot Crate. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty.